Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jaded Blossom, and it is the hop day of, this is the hop for the June 2020 release. I'm using the um, stylized rectangle dies, the scallop stylized rectangle dies, the watch out for cooties set, the banner dies, the two little hearts from that, and our heart layer dies. I'm making a project for our hop today, a card set in a little box. So here we go, I'm gonna to put together a quick card card for you using uh, So Much Pun from Doodlebug, their six by six inch pad and the matching odds and ends. And what I did is I cut out the um, scalloped rectangle die. I used um, the Bumblebee gingham linen in the 12 inch. I cut out one of those and I also cut out um, the pattern paper with the smaller stitched stylized rectangle and I cut them in half and I'm going to layer them on the bottom half of my A2 sized horizontal card. Uh, that is a 4.25 by five and a half inch card and it's you know a horizontal card. I don't really make a lot of these and um, I cut out a one inch piece of uh, of the beetle black dot stripe 12 it's 12 i cut a 12 inch strip and i cut it in half at six inches and then i'm applying it to the card i heat emboss the sentiment get well soon using ink on threes juicy ink with rangers fine detail white embossing powder and i heat embossed it using my uh, marvy gun until it was melted and i'm just applying it on top of those two die cuts and trimming off the edges with my scissors and i love how that looked it it's, gives a nice little layout i did this for every single card so i did the same sort of layout there now i'm taking out my odds and ends and i'll be popping up those images um, just to give them kind of an interesting look over to one side of my design um, i'm using um, the stampin up dimensionals i also use 3m foam tape a bit on this card so i'm just hop placing all of my images using my EK Success uh, reverse tweezers just so I can keep my hands out of the way and I'll be adding everything. I also cut out my hearts um, using the uh, banner dies and the heart layer dies, the smallest ones. And um, I cut out three different sizes and I use the Doodlebug uh, Ladybug Gingham Linen, the 12 inch, and I cut them out of that. Um, also the, like I used both sides. For those so I use like either two gingham and one linen linen or two linen and one gingham for the layouts and I also added a few little pills on each card also so I really like the look of these little little uh, cards I thought they turned out adorable super quick and easy to do you don't have to be a colorer to use this release um, you know you can use SVG cuts, you can use doodlebug odds and ends, you can use printables, you can use all sorts of things with Jaded Blossom's design, designs. Now I'm also using um, a secure white jelly roll pen in a size 10. I'm adding some freckles onto my little images. I also use a black glaze pen to pop the, the eyes a little bit, give them a little bit of shine and dimension. I'm uh, rounding the upper left hand corner with my We Are Memory Keepers um, corner chomper in a half inch just to sort of mimic the um, stylized rectangle dies. And that's it. So I'm moving on to my second card now, doing the exact same thing as I did for the first one. Um, just applying those, those shapes to the bottom part of my card with my ATG gun. Um, now normally when it came to actually cutting out the pattern paper, it was directional. So I couldn't just cut the whole piece out and then cut it in half like I did with the gingham for the um, layer it, with the scalloped shape. I had to actually, you know, cut only half the paper out. So all the pills were facing in one direction with the faces, the same with the little bandages. Um, but if you were using a pattern piece that wasn't directional, you, it would be really quick. You could just cut out the both layers and cut them both in half and you could stick them all down and Bob's your uncle, you'd be done. Eh? And then you could uh, you could layer them first, then cut them in half, then apply them to your card. That would save a step. But like I said, it was a directional print, so I couldn't do that. So now I'm adding my little bandage and I'll add my three hearts again using my Stampin' Up Dimensionals. You'll notice that I'm using my Stampin' Up pad again underneath. Um, I do use my Ranger um, Tim Holtz Tonic Studios um, glass craft mat. Um, usually when I'm crafting but when I'm filming it's kind of shiny so you know it doesn't it 
for me, I don't really like the look when I'm filming. So that's why I use the white piece of paper. And you know, the cross hatch kind of tells me if I'm in camera because I'm terrible at that. I, I constantly move out of, this, out of the camera. So if you notice me doing stuff off to the side, it's because I've gotten out of camera and I don't know. I'm just learning this still. So here we are. I'm just putting on my little pills and, and my little capsules. Oh, oh, that's one more heart I'm gonna add. I always add things in a group of three just makes it more pleasing to the eye that one's a little crooked so I gotta fix that one and um, I do use my favorite um, Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue for you know applying things a little bit here and there too on this card so now I'm just applying all of my little pills with the little faces how cute are those and I think one of these ones with the bandages those would be cute to give someone if they've had surgery and you know if they're in the hospital, the ones with all the little pills, that, that would be cute. So um, I quite liked how this little set turned out. Sometimes um, in, the, in the old days, I used to avoid coloring because it really wasn't, I, I really didn't enjoy coloring when I was doing, you know, when I was um, doing all my designs in the past. I, I kind of avoided the coloring as much as I could and I did everything to avoid it now I actually I'm kind of starting to like Copic coloring don't tell anybody it's a secret it took me a while I had to sort of uh you know amass all of the Copic markers slowly because you know they're kind of expensive and uh you hate to drop a load on the Copic markers but I have to say at the same time they kind of are the best you can't beat the Copic markers so I finally gotten the hang of coloring. I'm not a I'm not a pro, obviously, with the markers, but you know I'm working on it. Um, but I am really liking finally doing the Copic coloring. Usually I'm I'm you know stamping out Jada Blossom Blossoms images and cutting them out with my brother Scan and Cut, and then coloring with Copic markers. But this time I thought no, I'm gonna go back to my old style of of card making, and use some images. Um, you know, I used to do a lot more SVG cuts. I still do here and there. Um, but, you know, I really quite like using these odds and ends with Jaded Blossoms designs. It's lots of fun. And it makes for a, a quick bunch of cards that are super cute. And everything matches, right? Because Doodlebug kind of, all their lines kind of go together. Um, all their color families do too. And at the same time, Jada Blossom releases a lot of adorable stamp sets and dyes and um, sentiments and now like stencils that are so cute that really does match with a lot of these different companies, their lines. And they're lot, lots of fun to, to use together because that's kind of my thing. So I just love this little Kleenex box. How cute is this little guy? You got to love that. So this video is sped up. I think it's sped up at like one and three quarters because things take me a lot longer than it does, you know, when I'm, when I'm making a little video for you guys. I'm not the quickest crafter. I'm pretty speedy, but not this speedy, let me tell you. And it was kind of nice not having to color like during a video for you because I, I'm a real slow colorer. You know, like I said, I'm not... Um, I'm not uh, a professional at it, that's for darn sure. Even though I've been working at it, you know, working at it, trying. Okay, and here we are. I'm just finishing up this last one and we'll be moving on to this next card here. And basically doing the exact same thing. So with all of these cards for illness, they'd be perfect to send anybody that's, that's homesick. Hopefully no one that you know is homesick with this this COVID, although I think numbers are dropping. I know that uh, in our city, there's, I think there's only two confirmed cases right now, um, which is really good. And I, I think in Ontario, um, I'm from Ontario, Canada, and we're starting to reopen. Um, we're kind of going on to the second stage, like the bigger cities really can't, but the smaller places are able to go to the second stage of opening. So things, I think, I don't know if it's Friday or Monday, don't quote me, um, you know, hair salons and nail places and that will be reopening. Um, thank goodness, because my hair needs, I, I need a haircut. I don't know about you, but I need a haircut. Although I was glad to give up the haircuts to keep everybody healthy in my house, but, and, and of course my parents, but uh 
Gotta get a haircut and my I really need to go for a pedicure, my goodness. And it's sandal weather, you need to get a pedicure. You don't wanna scare anybody in the summer. Especially because I spend a lot of time um, in the summer down at camp on the weekends and like, you know, you're down at the beach and you kind of want to wear sandals and you don't want some yucky looking feet while you're at the beach. So here we are, we're finishing up this card here. And how cute is this? It was super simple to do this card set. And hopefully, you know, anybody with any, you know, anybody could make these cards, doesn't take any, any kind of talent or skill uh, well I, th I don't think you really need a lot of skill to make all these cards you can have a lot of fun and make cards and people will love them they don't know if you're a professional or not they just like getting something homemade free from you and I'm quite kind of adding to my stash right now because I kind of like to get a bunch of these cards all made and then um, then you're able to uh, you know, have them ready for when you need them. Because, you know, you don't want to be making a card last minute when you need it, right? So here we go. So that's about it. That's all finished up here. And I'm going to be moving on to my, um, my gift box for these cards that I made. I used the um, handled gift, bar gift box die. And I cut that out in the white um, paper tray ink cardstock. And um, now I'm just applying the layers to this um, image. And I cut out the one inch strip again. And I cut out the layering um, piece from the, the handled gift, gift box. And I apply that to my um, gift box too. Um, I'm also, I also use the medical dies from Jaded Blossom. And I cut out a piece of black American Crafts cardstock with the little heartbeat die, and I'm applying that to the front of the yellow yellow piece. And I love how that turned out. It just looks super graphic and awesome. I use sort of um, I use basically all the same materials because you want your card box to match match the card set that you're giving uh, in it. And um, I'm also um, I also use the little tiny uh, sentiment that came also came from the So Much Pun set. There's a sheet that has all the sentiments sentiments on it, and I cut that out, layered it with a little piece of black cardstock, and then I popped it up on a scalloped square die from Jaded Blossom. I also cut out um, our bow dies with um, our Jaded Blossom bow dies using the same red gingham um, paper from Doodlebug. And I use my Teflon bone folder to sort of just bend the paper so you get a nice, um, you know, loopy bow. I always use a glue dot in the center of my bow and fold them in. And um, I actually cut the tails in half and applied them um, to the back so they look like they're the tails are hanging down. I quite like the look of that. Now also, my little sentiment, like I said, I, I applied, um, I cut the sentiment square out then I I stuck it down on a piece of black cardstock cut into a square just slightly larger and then I applied the uh, scalloped square die uh, to the back of that and I popped it up over where the over the heartbeat uh, image I think it turned out pretty cute and then I'm adding my little bow on top and I love how that turned out I used uh, the doodle bug enamel shapes uh, one of their black enamel dots to go in the center of my bow just to give it a little cute little center. And isn't that cute? It sneezed the day, it says. So, you know, you could fill that up with like some stuff for, you know, if you're sick, you can put some antibacterial hand soap in there. You can put some Kleenexes, some cough drops, what have you. I'm going to be putting all my cards in there and I'll be calling it a day. So hopefully you like what I came up with for the hop. Make sure to hop along with us at Jaded Blossom because everyone has some great inspiration using this awesome release, the June 2020 release from Jaded Blossom. Thank you so much for stopping by and making a card set with me today. And I hope to see you soon. Bye, everyone.